Hello everyone, you might have bought a new SSD to speed up your desktop PC. It might be a SATA or might be NVMe. And the company have claimed that it can be up to this amount of read and write speed. Like this, I am using this Kingston A2000 series and company claims that it will have up to 2000 megabytes per second for read and 1100 megabytes per second for write on 250 GB model. And here you can see I am using this 250 GB model of this particular SSD. But after installing in your Windows PC, you are wondering how to actually test that speed, whether the claim speed is actually right or it is a fake claim by the company or the manufacturer. So in this video, I will show you how you can test this kind of SSD read and write speed without using any third party tool and software. Because if you are going to use third party tool and software, it will be a headache to download and install then then you can run the test but today i am gonna show you without any third party tool and software we'll just use the command line so without further delay let's get started first of all what you have to do you have to go to the command shell or the power shell so if you are using windows 10 or 11 just click on this windows icon right click and open this powershell or command shell in administrator mode so click that windows powershell and click on yes and then this window will open so now we have to run only one single small command it will be winsat winsat then space disk and remember this command takes multiple arguments like which drive to test which drive not to test and etc etc but by default if you are going to use this ssd in your c drive and it will by default it will take the c drive and it will read and write both speed it will take it will start with this command so winsat dx click enter and if you're gonna go to this one you can see the clear spike in the graph of the tax manager that's when it had completed the testing and here you can see it is claiming that 1958 megabytes per second for sequential read and 1200 for sequential write so let's just match or gonna compare with the manufacturer claimed value so first go to the sequential and read so they are saying sequential read for this particular 250 gb variant will go up to 2000 and we are getting it 1958 so it's very very good and it's almost the same so it will little bit it will differ because of hardware lag or some other things but it is almost accurate to the claimed value and next one will be the 1100 but we are getting 1296 so we are getting right speed more than it has been claimed by the Kingston company. So in this way, you can easily test your read and write speed of your SSD or any kind of hard drive or pen drive. Anything you can test, you have to just pass the dash drive then the C drive. If I gonna test the old mechanical hard disks, I will test on the D drive. So here you can see in the D drive, the regular hard drive, Toshiba hard drive, there is a spike in the graph and the result is coming 190 for the read and 217 for the write so again this is a decent score based because it is a 1 tv hard drive mechanical hard drive for that point of view it is a decent score so in this way you can test your hard drive versus dp drive any drive without using any third party tool and software in your windows pc it may be windows 10 or windows enable hope this video will help you to find the actual speed of your drive thanks a lot for watching this video to get more helpful videos on pc subscribe to this channel